I'm Christine Lynn Allen. I am owner and uh, head beekeeper at The Bees Knees. We are a bicycle powered beekeeping business that does education and advocacy work in the Twin Cities. These bees have been traveling two to five miles from where we're standing in this field. And they're going to find the flowers that make up that field. In the fall, there are different flowers than there are in the summer. Same with there are different flowers than there are in the spring. And so the honey can taste different based on where you take it from and what time of year it is. First, we put on our beekeeping suits because bees defend their food source and their homes and we don't want to get stung. Bees do sting, uh, but they die when they sting, so if you know how to work around bees and you respect their space, uh, you won't get stung. The other thing we have is a smoker that calms the bees down. Bees communicate by scent, so if we cover up their ability to smell, they can't tell each other that there's an intruder trying to steal their honey. We also use a piece of strong smelling felt and we put it on top of the bees and it and pushes them down into the hive and away from the honey because they don't like the smell. It doesn't hurt them, it's just as if you had a smell you really didn't like and you wanted to get away from it. We also have a brush and we use the brush to get the bees off of the honey so that we can take it with us but leave the bees outside. After we brush the bees off the frames, we put them into boxes that we can take with us. And then we take this honey and we bring it over to our honey house so we can extract it and put it in a jar for us to eat. Now that we have the honey away from the bees and in our honey house, we're going to harvest it, meaning uh, we need to get that wax covering off of the, the honeycomb. So honeycomb, when we say honeycomb, we mean the individual shapes, which are hexagons, that hold the honey. The wax that the bees put over it acts as something to keep the honey inside for them to eat later, and it also preserves it. Right now we're taking a hot knife and we're melting the very top layer off of that shape of that hexagon. After we have melted both sides of uh, what we call the frame, which is where the honeycomb sits, then we put in the frame inside the centrifuge. So you fill this basket with four frames is what ours fits. Ours are made from bicycles, so we're actually going to pedal the honey out of the comb. Normally, you would use a hand crank machine or a motor that would spin it around, but we're using our legs. We're using pedal power to do that. When we pedal, it spins it around and the honey gets pulled out the sides and drips down to the bottom there's a filter or something to keep the wax and other things we don't want in the honey out of the honey. Once we have enough of it in the tank, we can open up the spout, put a jar under it, and put it in a bottle for us to eat. So after we get the honey in a jar, we need to get it out to people like you so you can enjoy it. We developed a unique way to do that, which is by bicycle. The reason we do it by bicycle is it's healthy, it gets us out exercising, but we also use the bicycle as a tool to raise awareness, to tell everybody that, hey, look at us, we're dressed as bees, we're bringing honey to people. It's time we start to think about bees more. They're really, really important. Not only do they make honey, but they're responsible for pollination. Pollination is what makes flowers uh, the ability for them to grow in numbers, for them to reproduce.
We deliver to places like this restaurant where they use their honey on the menu. They also sell it to other people in the jar. One of the main reasons that I am a beekeeper and we do business the way that we do is because we really value how much the honeybee does for us. We would not have healthy food without bees. We would not have honey without honeybees. The next time you go to the store or to a farmer's market and you see that honey in a jar, remember that that bee doesn't want, want to hurt you. She's just working. She's doing her job and helping us to have a better environment.